electrohydraulic forming process or EHF. The constructional details of electrohydraulic forming equipment is shown in this picture. It contains an discharge, a discharge chamber in which the process happens. And inside the discharge chamber, we have two electrodes. And over that one a die is there, that is known as the forming die and a pulse generator. The pulse generator consists of a high voltage, low inductive bank of uh, capacitors. Then high voltage, high current discharge switch and a charging, amplifying and a rectifying a circuit as shown in this picture. This capacitor uh, bank is capable of producing a uh, discharge of 5 to 25 kilowatts and uh, uh, this 5 to 25 kilowatts and uh, it is can store energies up to 100 kilojoules. The workpiece is uh, placed on top of the discharge chamber and this is the condition of the workpiece before deforming and this is after the forming operation. Then after the air is evacuated from both sides of the workpiece uh, from this chamber and also from this uh, chamber on the uh, and also from the discharge chamber. The discharge chamber is filled with the water uh, through this port. When the voltage is applied to the electrodes, an electrical uh, breakdown because the electrodes are at a, maintained at a very small gap and uh, there is an electrical uh, breakdown occurs because of this high voltage and uh, exposed, uh, okay, and it leads to formation of a stable plasma channel between these electrodes. And this channel expands uh, quickly and this expansion is uh, shown over here and it expands quickly uh, resulting in a shock wave of pressure and it uh, propagates quickly through the water so it is actually expanding this bubble is expanding and uh, since it is expanding it is applying pressure on the workpiece and uh, it is uh, forming uh, with the shape of the die and that is the uh, working of this electrohydraulic forming process the process parameters of electrohydraulic forming includes the standoff distance or that is the E or SOD and that is the distance between the tip of the electrodes and the workpiece that is a blank then the capacitor used then the transfer medium usually we are using water as the transfer medium then the vacuum then the materials formed. Thanks for watching.